We've been at home inventing a brand new game for the show And now we're going to test it live on the bungalow Will it be a triumph and beautifully thought through? Or will it be a shambles, a pile of poopy woo? It's time to play! Sticky Bananas! I hope you don't expect us to get dressed up as anything stupid. Because <laughs> that would be really... Okay, come here, come here, come here, come on. And now, so what was your name again? Luke. Right. Luke. Now, now, Luke. What 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 happens in the game? What hap What happens? Right, Sorry. Okay. Hang on. Here, yeah. So he got he, he got he obviously can't hear me properly. What happens? So what happens in the game, dear? <laughs> what, ha what happens? <laughs> that, so after we've done that, then what happens? No, you don't know. You can't do that. It's silly. Uh, what happens at the end? No, hang on. Let me have a look oh, at the piece of paper. It says right, okay. it says here on the piece of paper. He's frozen. A frozen banana. All right. Then it says here. It's your home number, your mobile number, your address. All right. Now, so basically, what you've got to do, the bungalow heads have got to get the right stickers yes, right. and stick them to us. Bungalow heads are dressed as bananas. Yeah, thank goodness for Are they really cars. bananas? There's bits of yellow cloth. And split, split, get it? Banana split. Two, two, three. <laughs> Luke, you stand there and I'll just, I'll do the voice for you. Just open and close your mouth. Just flap, flap your lips. Each flap team, lips. each team has a captain, Dick or Dom, who is also dressed as giant bananas. Each Keep team going. has a board full of Dick and Dom face stickers. Dick's team <laughs> must only put Dick stickers on him, and Dom's team must only put Dom stickers on him. <laughs> they have one minute to stick as many stickers to their bananas captain as possible. The only problem is they are blindfolded. Blindfold yourselves, Bunglehead. At the end of the game, the banana captain with the most relevant stickers on them is the winner. Wrong stickers on the wrong banana count as negative points. How many points to the winner? Uh, let me have a think. I know, I've got such big ears. Let's call it... 200! Brilliant, Luke! Well explained. Absolutely well explained, brilliant. mate. Right then, Bungleheads, did you understand all that? Yeah. Ready to play? Watch this then. This is your game, Luke. OK, which one's my team? Is this my team? Oh, That's your I, team I, over I, there I, then. Yeah. Let's do it! Go! Give it on, go! Are you blind? Blindfold blind blind yourself, Bungleheads. All right, Luke. It's all going terribly well. It's all going just like a dream. We're part of a well over here. Oh, look, I'm over here. I'm over here. Just move it. Come on. Brilliant, right over here. Sticky. Stick up. Hey, Luke, is this making you happy, mate? Luke, is that what you've always dreamed of? There's people at home watching your game being played now just going, genius! Join us here for a contest that really is about strength and determination. The incentive to win here today is massive. Yeah. These two titans of the ring, Mutton Chops and Little Bob Pete, both weighing in at 16 stone apiece. Well, and the referee there, Derek Quigley, a part time sheet metal worker from Codna, giving them the instructions. There's the bell, and they're off. Well, 
There's a bit of board in here to start with from Mutton Chops. There's a lot of anger in that young man, and he's got the first smackdown. Bob Peeps on the canvas. Oh, that's a nasty bit of work. The Bob Peeps bang up. He's going for the twisty, spinny thingy move. And very quickly, very much enjoying that. And that's absolutely textbook from Bob Pete there, the old oh look behind you. A bit of head slapping, and that really has disorientated mutton chops there. He doesn't know where he is, but he's in and he's down. And uh, marvellous to see this game so well enjoyed by the referee there. There's the half Nelson, and there's a bit of trumping going on. I'm not sure that's allowed, but uh, the referee seems to be happy with it if not the smell. Oh, and Bob Peeps come back with that. It's not work. There's the nickel pinch, and there's the wedgy squeeze. Well, there's a bit of smacky bot bot work going on there. Long time since I've seen that. I've not seen that since there were ships on the train and kids running about with no shoes on. They're backing off the ropes and all. Oh, dear, these two big lads have just cancelled each other out. But let's have a look at some of the marvellous athleticism that these two major contenders have shown us here today. Mud and chops there with the stamp, beautifully played, the slap head, it's all there. Quite frankly, where else would you get this kind of entertainment and this kind of quality? It's really stunning, and here's your host, Colin. It's your show. If it's, Present listen, it. Listen, it's your show. Go and get Raja, please. What, I don't know what to do. Then. Come on. Raja, are you going to do it? Yes or no? Yes or no? You can take my own one. Of course you are. Come on. No, don't do that. You can take my own one. Yes, go out there and No, wait, no fighting. No fighting. No, wait, wait, wait. Here, look, look Raja, wait. Stay in a minute. Raja, Raja, are you going to do it? No. Why? Because... I Get out. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, come on. Am I fair? Am I fair? If, if he's not taking part in the games and he's just misbehaving, but well, he's got no bungalow points to take away... The problem away, is, mate, there's if, no... if he doesn't do it, it means you've got to do it. Yeah. No. <laughs> yes. No, I'm leaving. Well, I can use it. Get out! <laughs> Get out! Right then, who's going to do it? Oh. Who's going to do it? Right, I'm going to do it. You read them and I'll do this. Well, get that off. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. There we go. I'm doing it. Go on. Tell you what, someone else, just someone else get in with me too. Come on. Oh, oh, come on. Jump in. Oh, jump. jump in. Everyone's yeah. getting in. Everyone, everyone get in. Right, everyone in. <laughs> everyone in. <laughs> Lovely. Step two. Crap two eggs into a bowl and pour Kent out the contents over a bungalow's head. Okay, so there, so there, here we are, over here. Why don't you do that? So get, get those eggs, crack them into a bowl. Yeah. There you go. Come on then. That's it. Good, and the next one? Very nice. Go on. Delicately done, well done, with not even a hint of eggshell in there. Very good, done a good job. And now pour it over all the bungalow heads' heads. Oh, come on! Oh, fresh eggs, fresh eggs. Oh, oh lovely! Step, step, step three, I'll read them out, you do them. Step three, add two ah. buckets of flour. So we've got some flour over there. Do you want to add, add two buckets of flour? Good job. Is it going to get a right. all your uh, Master Chef, does it have to be any special flour? No. Oh, yeah! Come on! <laughs> I might have to be the chef in a minute, actually. Turn it. Should we? Tip it all over them. Oh, flour. Oh. Step, step four. Okay, next, add a bucket of very runny lard. No, no, very runny lard here. Yeah, yes, we're going to get some very runny lards and pour it all over their heads. Oh, how come you're doing it? You said you're the chef. I'm helping. All right, whatever. Go on, all over their heads. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, then. Step five. Step five. Add two tablespoons of warm water. Not boiling. Warm. OK, two tablespoons of warm water. That's right. Just flick it at them. In fact, just pour the whole lot over there. Oh, lovely, all right. And now, now step six, uh, mix in two buckets of mashed bananas. There we are, two buckets of mashed bananas. And uh, pour it all over their heads. 
Bucket of vanilla extract. Vanilla extract. Have we got yes? Yes, very good. Vanilla extract. Chuck in a bit of that. Uh, 